recently also we uh, donated two drones to the Prime Two Police, basically for surveillance. I had an opportunity to discuss in detail with Commissioner Sir about his requirements. A drone that can go identify where is the traffic jam, the point where the jam is happening. This concept was finalized, presented to the police department. Then we started building it. Uh, this drone is capable of handling 10 kilograms. Yeah, we, we have named this robot, uh, this drone as a Jetayu, meaning, yeah, from the history uh, Ramayana. So I am Vinod, I am heading the Department of Robotics and Automation Engineering at PSG College of Technology. PSG College of Technology has long association with society, like they have, we have contributed a lot back. So recently also we uh, donated two drones to the Prime 2 Police, basically for surveillance. So recently the present Commissioner of Prime 2, Police Commissioner Mr. Balakrishnan sir, uh, had a meeting with our managing trustee Sri L. Gopalakrishnan and uh, sir requested for some more support, technological support from PSG Tech, basically for three things. So that is how uh, then the managing trustee asked me to look into these problems and uh, coming out with some solutions for the police department. So that is how it all came. So basically request was from the department of police. So I had an opportunity to discuss in detail with Commissioner Sir about his requirements. So he clearly explained me what are his requirements. So first he said uh, there is a big challenge when handling unruly mob. So it happens sometimes. So at the same time he doesn't want the crowd also to be affected uh, with something some serious con consequences so basically to disperse the mob so it is not to attack them but to disperse the mob so when you use manual grenade throwing systems sometimes it may fall on some of the people standing there so that is a little life threatening so instead if you use a drone the drone can go inside the mob drop these where there is sufficient space so that the smoke will uh, deter them from proceeding further or disperse the mob. So actually a drone based uh, tear gas dropping will be much more safer for even the mob. So it will not fall on a person. We can pinpoint where we have to drop it. And uh, it will be from a more high height so that uh, instead of throwing from a place it just drops. So impact on the people will be very less. Second requirement from his side was on, uh, see now especially Coimbatore city we see a lot of traffic jams as uh, this uh, flyover constructions are happening and there are several st situations where police vehicles are not able to reach the spot of the traffic jam. So probably one or two vehicles if you can just move it the traffic uh, gets smooth. So, but police is not able to reach, even two-wheeler uh, police may not be able to reach. So, he's wanted to have a drone that can go, identify where is the traffic jam, the point where the jam is happening and uh, give some instructions to those drivers there to move the vehicles accordingly from maybe a police vehicle. So, that was the second requirement. Third, uh, there are a lot of... Uh, uh, small time offenders like chain snatchers or pickpocketers so as per his version like they evenings they assemble somewhere so they share some of the day's collection or something like that and plan for the rest of the week or sometime so if you can uh, like uh, stop them in advance identify who all are the people who all are ganging up uh, ganging up to, together uh, probably we can stop them so we need a night vision camera and a drone which can capture uh, very clear images. At the same time when drone flies as you know people may they can start running so it should not create much noise and should be from a very far distance. 
so a drone with night vision camera with a very good zooming uh, so these are the three requirements which came up from the city police commissioner so initially we thought of doing it as three projects then we found out that all these uh, three objectives are can be combined into a single drone so that is how we started making this drone so we identified we designed this drone uh, what kind of capability it should have and we identified some of the components uh, so we involved faculty members we also have a product development group in the department of robotics and automation engineering at psg college of technology we have developed several products uh, two of the products like educational robots are here so similarly uh, products that will be of use to the society is the mission of the product development group so the engineers of that group plus faculty members plus our department students so they are the team behind this project the concept was presented to the police department mm -hmm. so sir introduced us to the other police officers like mr shekhar mr pratap singh mr savior who are all experienced in handling this uh, tear gas shells so they took us to the prs grounds they gave us demo on how to handle this kind of uh, yeah uh, ammunitions and we understood from that how to like load it into a drone how many tear gas has to have to be handled in one shot so as per their requirement currently we have loaded at a time four tear gas tear gas shells can be loaded on this on this drone you can have we can simultaneously drop all the four or one by one with a time delay in between so this concept was finalized presented to the police department then we started building it so the major uh, problem was that getting components especially most of the drone components are imported so we ordered them uh, most of them have come and we have started uh, testing that assembled it together tested it and this engineering extra engineering what we are supposed to do are happening now, right now i think within a month we'll be able to hand it hand it over to the department of police because it needs a lot of testing since we are incorporating three applications into one single drone which is not there in the history which is not there anywhere in the world so this is the, i think the only drone which has got all these three functions integrated into single drone so these are the uh, knowledge we get, got it from the police department so we understand that a fully loaded tear gas weighs between 300 grams to 500 grams uh, so if that into four uh, will be around uh, 1.5 1.6 kilograms plus there is a public address system will be around 1.5 kilograms then there will be night vision camera another uh, half a kg but all put together uh, this drone is capable of handling 10 kilograms so it has a payload of 10 kg this drone can fly up to 7 kilometers radius so within that if battery gets drained it can fly up to 25 minutes continuously so if there is a battery uh, draining happening it will come back to the home position recharge and it will go for the next flight the department has several funded projects as is as medical we have done an endo trainer a robotic endo trainer because as you know now robotic surgery is increasing even in our city we have four hospitals with robotic surgery the surgeons they have to be trained in handling these surgical robots so we have designed and developed a surgical robot trainer we call it as endo trainer with uh, an industry partner and also korea advanced institute of science and technology as our partner so this has come to a testing stage uh, one that we have made is currently in PSG hospitals for the surgeons for testing, for uh, practicing. Uh, that is one project in medical robotics. And uh, education side, we have developed several learning platforms, uh, autonomous mobile robots, uh, robots for learning, its manipulator kinematics and dynamics. Uh, then we have developed a 2 kg industrial robot also a six kilogram welding robot these are also developed by the department of robotics and automation engineering okay. drones what we are doing is uh, it can actually navigate in two modes one can be fully manual means with a joystick the police officers or whoever the operates a drone can control from a static location or even from a moving vehicle 
second thing is it can be uh, programmed like every morning 6 a.m or evening 7 p.m the drone can fly throughout the city once and come back to its home position so it will capture pictures it can go to points where we program so gps based navigation is possible it can geotag locations so where who uh, the people are assembled all those things with their uh, faces where they are located all this can be captured and sent to the uh, central server of the probably the police department we have named this robot uh, this drone as a jetayu meaning yeah from the history uh, ramayana so an eagle which will be of help for people who require its help and also can destroy the enemies so but this is not actually meant for that basically to support the law and order system that is jedi